Hey, hey, lady. You, you got some change, lady? Uh, hey, hey, uh, how's it going? You, um, looking to buy or sell or... You call me Trip. I own this shop. Um, no, not, not really. Sorry. Thanks. You, uh, new to Santa Monica? It's not a big surprise. We get you faces through here night after night. Used to be more tourists, but now... I don't know, man. It's more like drifters. Beats me. Santa Monica is dead. I don't know why anyone comes out here anymore. All right, here's what we got today. How's it going, girl? Oh man, wait! Say that again! Oh man, you! You're a vampire, aren't you? Come on, you are too! Oh man, don't bullshit me, girl. Just come clean. I ain't gonna tell no one. It's okay. I just wanna talk. Hell yeah! Oh man! I knew it! I just... Oh jeez, I knew you were... I just could tell I... Oh man, this is great! And then I saw your teeth and, and I was like, damn, it was like I could just sense you. The name's Knox Harrington. Pleasure to meet you. No, 
Oh, man. I'm a ghoul. I didn't know about any of this stuff until a couple of months ago. When this guy just appeared and, well, all of a sudden, bam! Whoa, man! Vampires are real and right there in front of my eyes. Blew my goddamn mind. Well, the way it was explained to me, whenever a vampire lets a human drink some of their vampire blood, the human gains a little vampire power. Can heal up quick and that kind of stuff. Jeez, oh man. And they're a ghoul and ooh, watch out. Oh man, I really wish I could tell you. But I don't think I'm supposed to. But it's really cool to be talking to you just, well, because I don't get a lot of chance to talk to vampires. Oh man, well, other than my master. So I thought I'd just say, you know, what's up, <laughs> you know? It's awesome! Man, after that first date of vampire blood, it's like the best drug. Oh, man, I'm telling you, it's like... Well, it didn't mess me up. It just made me feel like I was better at everything. I felt like a god just sucking on that nasty dude's wrist. Look, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I'm on a secret mission for my master. Well, hey! Ha, it's been great talking to you, man. But I better be going. Oh, man, you know, important stuff to do. <laughs> Mr. Busman, spell the operator. Dr. Busman, spell the operator. Uh, uh, please, get a doctor. <sighs> ah, my insides. It hurts so bad. I'm sorry, miss, but you're going to have to wait outside like everyone else. No exceptions. See here now, I'm the only physician here at the moment. We got twice as many people as usual waiting for treatment. I'll look at her as soon as possible. Try to talk to her, keep her awake. I've got a man in there with a bullet in his head. My nurse paged Dr. Roberts a half hour ago. He'd be here any time. Till then, stay with your friend and make sure she doesn't go into shock. I must go. Can someone call my grandma, please? you do? What did you do to me?
This area is for hospital staff only.
Mr. Business Bell, the operator. Dr. Business Bell, the operator. Get a crash cart in here. I told you, I will get to you when I can. Please take a seat. Get out of here. Can't you see I'm with a patient? Are you trying to blackmail me? You don't know who my wife is. She wouldn't believe you. Now get out! Wait now. What do you want? Deal. But I'm in the middle of something. I'll have to drop it off later. Now never speak to me about that again. <coughs> Sir, can you hear me? Light. I'm. Oh, I can feel a draft on my fucking insides. They shank me, the bastards. The blood ain't working no more. My head, it feels cracked. Oh, I think my eyes popped. I got. I went. Uh, what is this lump? Is this my rib? Oh, holy shit. My rib is poking through my side? Oh, I'm all numb. You gotta look and tell me. Goddamn chemist. Can't trust any operators in LA. I verified him. Organizations seem reliable. The guy mixes up speed. His crew sells it. Occasionally does explosives. I set up a drop. I show up at the beach with the money, right? Four of these guys, they come out of nowhere. Junky pricks. Hit me with a bat. <coughs> it feels like I got a friggin' horse kick in it. I never should have gone alone. Amateur move. I should have handled those pricks. Goddamn dirty Cali rat bastards. Those cocksuckers beat me rotten, left me for a stiff. I had to crawl to my car, crawl my ass up here. The vamp blood's the only thing holding me together. But shit, they got the money, they got the astrolite. Hold on, you think I'm some amateur? I got their number. Those small-time sons of bitches live out in a dump on the beach. Maybe four or five of them. The ones got the explosives is Dennis. I got my money too, that prick. Laying in a pool in my own blood, and you want friggin' directions. Right, all right. Uh, down the street, in the parking garage, stairs down to the beach, on the right. <clears throat> Those better not be some of my last words. You gotta... You gotta get it back from him. Maybe reason with him, maybe break in. I don't know. I wanna kill him. Do whatever you people do. I blew it, I know. Yeah, if you could... Oh, something just started leaking. I need something for the pain. Oh, oh holy Christ, I needed that. Ah, uh, one more thing. How about the deal? I mean it. You tell anyone about this, I'm dead. I'm begging you. I got a way of getting people what they need. You don't say anything, I can help you out.
I've seen a lot of shocking things in my time on the force, but that pier, that's the kind of thing that makes you lose your faith in humanity. I gotta say, it's the second worst thing I've ever seen. Poor bastard down there is torn in two. Up there, through that chain link gate and up those stairs. Those men you are looking for. Never mind, you wouldn't understand. It's like I've told you types about a thousand times now. We know we can't hunt round here, all right? We're minding our own business. No reason to hassle the weaklings. You mean you ain't here to run us off? We're getting pretty sick of it. Someone sighting domain, or in the worst case, is hunting us for sport. Dunno. We all seem to have come down with the same disease. Who am I kidding? We're a bad horror show, right? We seem to be the runts, the mistakes. You types call us thin bloods. I say we're all equally screwed. Clan? See, I've heard all that before, and, and I still don't know what the hell anyone's talking about. I'd like to know just what I've become. We'd all like to know just, just what the... The hell kind of devil's contract we've apparently signed. I'd just come to town for the surf tourney. Seems like years ago. It's, well, been about six months now. Every night during the finals, I used to hit the local diner after the beach parties fizzled out in the AM. That's where I met her. She had a natural beauty. Not like all the plastic dolls littering the sand. Her name was Lily. I remember introducing myself. The way she seemed grateful for the company. Well, a few nights after our meeting, we were on the beach alone. She tried to tell me what she was, but I didn't understand. So she showed me. I was furious with her when I took it all in. I cursed her and left, never really knowing what I was. But I realise now how she must have felt. So here I am now, a mystery to myself. Clinically, yes, but honestly, I don't know. I suppose I'd have moved on by now if I didn't think she'd show up one of these nights. There's a lot I've got left to say to her. That's what Lily tried to tell me. But what I don't understand are the rules and the terms and the reasons some of them are at our throats claiming we're harbingers of the apocalypse. That's what I want to know. Aye, most of them just recently arrived in LA. Got chased off by the Sabbath or some such thing from their home cities. They're more in the dark than I am. They're a good bunch, but... I've been through a lot. It's affected them. Well, I hope you had better luck than I did. No one's been particularly friendly to me in this city. The only reason we're in Santa Monica is because we haven't been chased out yet. Oh, we'd appreciate it. Oh, before I forget, name's E. The black-haired beauty over there is Rosa. Sees the future, so she says. That nervous bloke is Copper. 
one who can't speak so well is Julius. Kids glass with him. They've had it rough. Seems no one will talk about it. This all started that night in the diner. Maybe you can start there. You have me. No, no, you are going to China. Why is he smiling? The father. Is, is it the father behind him? You chased it for the one at the top of the city. On the sea. On the ground. You found it in the crypt. It's open. Oh, it's open. Oh God. Oh God. Run. Ah, oh, I sorry. Sometimes I see nothing. Disregard what I say. I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. Murder. Yes, the killer is dead. He moves soon and travels to the heart of the Angelis, to the home of the stars, and then returns fulfilled and empty once again. I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. Fortune is not your destiny. All of us are unfortunate. Every time I sleep, the future plays out before me. I know the ending. It will end over and over until I cease to dream. I know your questions. For one hundred dollars, I'll tell you what you don't want to hear. I need money to leave this place. Then ask again. The crimson ship. He's not who he says she is, and is going to burn. Dinosaurs? He's furious. The man with the crest. The voice in the darkness. Boss. Chinese brothers. Follow the lights to the end of the tunnel. Where do you want to go? Hmm. The man on the couch. The lone wolf. All others tread carefully. Men. Everywhere. Some with swords. Some with smiles. But I pity them. You are a remarkable thing. Those with a lot to say usually have something on their mind. There are many unique individuals around the city. It's almost as if they're waiting for you to ask the right thing. E, for example. Don't open it. I see the future, not the past. Whether or not you win the game matters not. It's if you bought it. E e evening. I, I, I don't know. Uh, talk, talk to E. Uh, guy without a shirt. 